Good morning, friends of the internet. We are back again in the world of Tank's Garage today. Me and my platoon mates said, you know what? Let's take our E75s out. These are two tanks that I just love to play together. I can imagine if you had a platoon of five, it would be a force to be reckoned with. These tanks are just overall just a well-rounded tank. They bounce rounds. You can maneuver well with them. Um, they're not the weakest tanks, and they hit decently hard. And if you can protect this tank, you can go a long ways. These are such fun tanks to play. Um, it's quite the upgrade from the Tiger II, but once you get to this, I absolutely love this tank. So I recommend picking one up. So with that being said, let's find ourselves a match, shall we? All right, guys. So it looks like we got a 215, a 110, a 113, a 57, 140, two 183s, an E3, a 268, and a 92 artillery. Ouch. We got our work cut out for us. All right, man. We've got enemies in the so area. we decided to push to the right. We don't know what the platoon of WTs are, so we're kind of looking at them, and it looks like there's three of them together, and we're kind of wondering where they're going to go and what they're going to do. So we're kind of letting it shape up to kind of see what's happening. And as it appears, it yeah, looks like the point. WT offs are going to go to the left. So with that being said, we're hoping that they'll be able to hold off whatever comes that side. Yeah, it looks like they're pretty much heavy over there with a couple mediums and artillery and whatnot. So we decide to push to the right. And I'm going to make an aggressive play. <clears throat> Normally, I don't try to get to this middle rock that's down by like G1. G, or G1, H1, somewhere around there. I usually don't make too much of an aggressive push to there. Because you can find yourself getting flanked from the left-hand side. But I told my platoon mate, let's, let's make a push towards that. Let's, you and I, since we're both in E75, let's just make a strong push and get to that rock. So we decided to just push through there. Now I'm hoping this E5 doesn't stop right in front of me and I gotta like go around him. I'm hoping he keeps pushing. And thank God he does. He decides to keep pushing, but we're already detected. The 113's there and a bunch of other stuff's there. So I'm just trying to stay moving right now. I don't want to get hit by artillery. I don't want to get hit by anything here. So I'm trying to kind of weave and bob a little bit just in case somebody shoots at me and can bounce around. They did the same thing we decided to do was make the strong push. And now I got a 57 here. I got my platoon mate coming up with me. <clears throat> and we got a couple tanks behind us helping, helping uh, back us up a bit. So I feel pretty confident in the situation, but it's going to be a slugfest it looks like here. E100, I put a nice shot into him. I hit him for a little bit there. I see my platoon mates getting pushed pretty hard here by the 215. I'm asking, is he okay? I got the 57 with me. So I'm thinking we're in pretty good shape on this side. Plus I got an E5 that's backing us up. I'm hoping that the, the E5 kind of pushes up, which he starts to do at this particular moment. I see the 110, I put a nice shot into him. I back up, let the auto loader have his way with these guys. Now I see the E5's helping my buddy on this side, so we're in good shape now. Now it's about who's gonna win this slugfest. So this E100 starts to side scrape, and I start to think to myself, man, the worst thing to have is a, is a side scrape in E100 that's gonna be a roadblock. So I shoot him in the hatch, and I make sure I crit him there and screw up his vision, so. But with him side scraping basically if he can bounce rounds and bounce rounds and bounce rounds he's just basically taking up time he's just buying time for the rest of the team to get slowly picked apart and we're getting pretty outnumbered over here and i'm starting to kind of worry at this point put another shot there which bounces and now i'm thinking man we're kind of in trouble my 57 now backs off and goes over to help the other side so it's just me holding this side so i decided i better side scrape a little bit try to get in here this guy pushes me all of a sudden so i put around into him I take a little bit of heat from him, no big deal. I stick my nose in the rock and I'm just gonna chill out here. Then I see the cannon and the E5 pull up beside me. So now he's come over and the 57's on the other side, which is fine. I put a shot into this guy, boom, hit him for 500. The E5 hits him pretty solid, we're good. Now it's just a matter of just clearing these guys out. Like these are the last guys remaining on the sides. Our offs did fairly well on that side. So the E5 put a shot into that 
E100, and I saw he had a good position on him, so I just went ahead and tracked him, knowing that he had a good reload rate, and he was able to hit him again, which was perfect. So I thought about retracking him again, but I'm still not loaded. So I'm waiting, I'm waiting, and I thought, well, maybe I can put a shot into the top, and then he backs up at the last second. No biggie. I did my part. I got him tracked for the E5 the one time to make a nice, clean shot on him, so... This tank, this dead tank right here in front of us is kind of being a problem. So I decided to go ahead and push around. I pushed the E5 and he gets really ballsy and pushed, or the, the E100. He got really ballsy and pushed out there and left himself completely exposed, which cost him badly. So then we come around, we got these last two tanks to finish off. This one backs right into me. I go ahead and I put a nice shot into the side. I pull right up alongside him because he's not paying attention to me. I go ahead and pivot my armor so my armor's facing him and he gets waxed out. So you can see how quick that game changed. Like we were outnumbered, but we dug in and we got it done. It's all that matters. We did 3000 damage, we did 900 assisted and we blocked 1190. We were second on the team. Yeah, it looks like second on the team only to the object 140. So we had an awesome game. Even better than our Yag Panzer and our WT off E100. So we did better than they did. So I will take it. A win's a win. We caused a lot of damage to a lot of these guys. We had some nice shots. We had some good help from our teammates. Um, and we had a great game. An absolute stellar game. We cleared them out quick. I only shot nine rounds, hit nine, and pinned six. So I will take it. That right there for a 3,000 game is awesome. The less rounds you can shoot and the more damage you can cause the better you are. So with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, like I said, it was a really quick match, but I wanted to showcase it to you guys anyways and just show you how we were kind of in a pinch and we were outnumbered and was able to just dig in and slowly pick them apart. So with that being said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, you can follow us on Twitter. That way you know when we're posting new YouTube content and when we're live streaming. If you haven't checked us out on Twitch or YouTube gaming, come hang out, be part of the audience. And if you're new to those channels, smash those follow buttons. So until next time, guys, thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you're having a great day, and we'll see all of your faces on the battlefield. Thanks so much, guys, for checking out my video. If you enjoyed that video, hit that thumbs up button, and be sure to subscribe for future videos.